the joy of RV. <laughs> what does that even mean? Well, stick around because today we are going to uncover what the true joy of RV really is. This is our Not So Perfect Life, where we choose to make everyday life beautiful. Yeah. So if this is your first time here with us, hang tight because we're going to get to the joy of our being in just a minute. But first... Yes, because first we want to say thank you to the growing community of the Not So Perfect Society. Yeah, for real, you guys rock and the support that you constantly give every oh, week man. is amazing. Yeah, it definitely reaches us. We read every single comment. And you know yeah. what's actually really cool too is that people are interacting with other people and lifting each other up and supporting one another. So, dude, if you're not a part of the society, we would love for you to be a part. Hit the subscribe button. Join us week after week. Yeah, we genuinely appreciate your interaction, mm -hmm. commenting, the love, the prayers, the support, yep. the encouragement. The laughter. I mean, you guys rock. Yeah. And without you, we wouldn't be doing what we're doing. For sure. It's really more about you than it is about our not so perfect life. Yep. So thank you. So from our hearts and our family to you, thank you. Yes. Keep doing it. Guys, we're gonna tell you a secret. Oh, yeah. It's probably a big secret. A huge secret. Giant, but don't tell anyone else. Like we're gonna reveal to you what the truth true joy of RV living oh, is. Man. So hang out with us because that's coming. Oh, okay guys, so we're gonna get right to the point. We're gonna break down the true joy of RV living, okay? And it's actually gonna start with asking this fundamental question. Can you only have joy when you're out there adventuring? Mm, having an endless road trip? Does joy only come when things are working out perfectly? Or can you only have joy when you're living the dream? We think that the real question that begs to be answered is how? Yeah, how can we find joy or be joyful when things are really not so perfect all the time? And in that, you may need to just step back and remind yourself, why? Why are we doing this? Why are we in this? Why did I want that job, that house, this RV, that vacation? You know, right? Yeah, if we're trying to find joy in any circumstance, sometimes it's good to reflect on, okay, hang on, uh, hold on a second. Yes. Why did I do this to begin with? If you're like in the rut of your job and you're not remembering why you started it in the first place mm -hmm. or in a rut in your marriage, Maybe remind yourself, why did I pick this guy? Yeah, exactly, right? What is it that I really love about him? Because <laughs> I'm awesome. <laughs> why did we start our being, Jason? Because we wanted to just be together, work together, play together, just be together. Like when the kids are working on school, we're right there. Yeah, if we're cleaning or packing up or preparing the rig or getting ready to go on a hike, I mean, we're all in it together. Yeah. Like we're in it to win it. Yeah, and man. And we're right there. Nobody can really go hide away and disappear into their own world it's like every single person is present and honestly many hands in a situation like that lighten the load yeah oh, hi lily how's it going love it's going yeah we're trying to get ready i mean you're making it happen right here in the sink what are yeah. you doing well i'm cleaning off the top of the soap dispenser because it gets kind of gross all right, looks like we're getting getting dialed in. Just got a couple things left here on the couch. Just a few things. Guys yeah. Are working hard. What? How's it going back here, boys? Hi. Hey. Oh, um, hi. Wow. So, this isn't working at all. Look at that neatly done bed. Who's responsible for that? That's the guy with the messy hair. Silas, did you make yeah. your bed as nice as your brother? No. Huh? No. Huh? No. Huh? No. Huh? No. Huh? no. Well, let's see. Got a bunch of blankets. A bunch of stuffed animals, including this one. Some books down there. A bit of a work in progress, eh? Yeah, you All can right. say that. Yeah, good work. Nice job. Yeah. Give it up. Yeah. Homie, nice job in the bed. Thank you. We're raising good boys, lover. They're making their beds right. It's good. I mean, 
you know, if those things matter to you, they don't really matter to me. They matter. Make your bed. I'd rather have good kids and be worried about whether they made their bed or not. I know, but isn't it like part and parcel? No. Oh. Well, I think it is. Thank you, Mom! Love her. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm just finishing up a few last little touches. Putting stuff away. And we're almost ready. So, we're only 51 minutes behind time. That's not too bad. But we gotta hurry up and get done. So, but not too fast, because you still have to do your checklist. So we've all worked on finding our niche and what we find joy in doing while we're all working together. Yes. Okay, living simply, living light. Literally, okay? In a rig, you can't have every single thing that you would have in a brick and stick house. That's just the bottom line, right? And so living in a rig allows us to really strip away and minimize the things that we have in our life. And for us, that brings a lot of joy because it brings a lot of freedom. And it brings a lot of simplicity. Yes. It's really simple. Like I don't have to go into a drawer and find 10 different serving spoons. We have one. Right, exactly. You need a serving spoon? <laughs> we got it. It. <laughs> it, it. I know maybe you're laughing or whatever. Maybe you need a bunch of spoons. I don't know. I guess I needed a lot of screwdrivers, right? <laughs> The point is, living simply, living light, really offers yeah. like a lot of freedom to be very nimble. Yeah, and you realize how little you can live with. Okay, so another quick tip is this. Always be organized in your packing up. The reason why is you want to resist just throwing things in in an open spot. Number one, it doesn't travel well. And number two, when you actually go to look for stuff, you probably aren't likely to find it because it's not really in its proper place. And those little holes, those nooks, those crannies where you end up just throwing stuff, probably always end up changing. They shift, they don't travel well. You have something over here one time, something over here another time. Always try to be organized, put things back, find a place, make a spot. If it doesn't fit, it doesn't go. Okay, so not everything lasts forever, even though I wish it would. Sad, because I've had this for a long time, but recently it started leaking, and we now call it the cottage cheese pig. Ew. But I uh, have to get rid of it because it's gross and it's kind of sad. So one thing to always make note of is that when you weigh your rig, it's not a one and done deal. You will constantly be accumulating things. And here's a good instance. It's actually really simple to accumulate stuff. Papers, books, little knickknacks, little doodads and whatnots. Although not really pretty looking, it's a part of the process that I think you should be involved in all the time, constantly. Joy is being able to make light of circumstances or situations that you might face. Unexpected circumstances. Yeah. Small parking lot circumstances. Inconvenient circumstances. Yeah. We are closed in the dining room circumstances. Whatever that might be for you. This is how we made light of the drive through 2.0. literally drive through 2.0 but we just need to eat food and we can't pull through a drive through with <laughs> our truck and our rig you better be careful we what you're doing we will be i don't know if it's gonna work or not so we're actually pulling this off this time and I think this is gonna work and we'll just have to pull close enough so I can pay at the window. The rig can't clip this nine foot clearance right here, right? So we're gonna have to play it slow and easy. <laughs> Drive through 2.0. Oh. oh wow, making this turn is gonna be a lot of fun. So this is proof that you can do a rig through a drive through You're watching it firsthand. Like, look at the clearance, though, around the corner. There's not much there. So you gotta swing it super wide. Look, look how far I am out on this way. Just way out of the way. I wonder what they're gonna react like, because I have to literally get out of my truck right now. Sorry for being so far out of the window, as you can see. I have a situation. This is such a spectacle. 
We don't stick out or anything, I promise. Like a giant RV in the drive-through. Dude, guys, this is literally going on. Yeah, so there we are, guys. Wendy's drive-through in a rig. Ah. Okay, here we go, pulling out. Don't hit the overhead. Wow, that's close, guys. That's close. Wow, guys. So simply said, you can find joy by not taking things so serious. Don't be so quick to be angry and don't be so quick to be frustrated. How about everybody just take a chill pill? <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag chill pill. Look, things will work out. You'll find a way. Yeah. Joy finds a way. Yeah. You know, that just kind of makes us think about the next thing we want to share with you. And that is that joy doesn't mean the absence of trouble. You might ask yourself, well, how can I be joyful in a crappy situation? <laughs> We're not saying like, life is awesome all right. the time. Right, being fake, right? No one wants to be fake about it. No, that isn't what we're talking about because honestly, joy is so much deeper rooted than just like a smile on your face. Man, we're straight up getting philosophical here. Ah! Bottom line is joy is the strength that gives you the ability to carry on. So speaking of carrying on, we have actually taken Kian in and gotten several different opinions about what to do yep. with his leg and the circumstance. And with all of those different recommendations, we've made the decision to carry on and postpone a second surgery for the time being to see how everything heals, how his walking is, yep. how his leg is, how he does moving forward. Right, so he's started physical therapy, he's done a great job there, yes. he's excelling, he's yes. actually without crutches or a wheelchair, and that's awesome, yes. so. He's been working his butt off, Woo! and the physical therapist said he's doing incredible, so let's keep going forward, and we're just trusting that he's gonna do fine, he's young, his body's gonna heal, and we're not gonna have to do that second surgery. So thank you for all your prayers, support, and just outpouring. Give a shout out to Kian. Comments below say, yeah, buddy, we got you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one might seem self-explanatory, but check it out. Everyone thinks of RVing as this sense of adventure, wanderlust, you know, the open road, right? Like this utter freedom. Yes. And truly, that is <laughs> a yes. huge joy of our being. It really genuinely is. It's not the daily grind driving the same streets to the same place doing the same things. And that's yeah. okay for some people. It just wasn't for us. Right. We get the ability to choose our own backyard. <sighs> the entire country, right, has become our backyard, yes. guys. Yes. We work from wherever we want to work from. Yes. I mean, honest and truly, going through whatever you go through to have that freedom, to have that sense of adventure, that is a true joy oh. of our being, no matter what you face. Man, say that again, sister. <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna have to be honest with you for just a minute. Yep. And let you in on the number one thing. This is it. Guys, this is the true joy of RV living. The biggest secret that no other RV channel is going to tell you. This relates to not just us, not just our not so perfect life. Not even just RV living. Correct, this relates to every single one of us. You wanna know what it is? Choose joy. Period. That's it. You choose it. Yeah. You are in control of it. You choose joy in every and all circumstances. Right, that drive-through could have been a miserable experience, ruining the rest of the evening. Yeah. It was joyful. Packing up the rig and getting it ready to go, that could be cumbersome and challenging and difficult. We chose to find joy in it. Yeah, when you're out there and you're trying to find a place to rest your head for the night, whether you're gonna have plug-ins or not, or 30 or 50 amp or boondock it, you know, you choose to find the joy in it all. In a sense, choosing joy is finding the things in your life to be grateful for. 
because if you really break it down, there's so much that you can be grateful for and find joy in, no matter what you're doing. If you're in rush hour traffic, if you're helping with some grueling two hour homework, well, yeah. or you're taking some stressful exam, or the mundane tasks of life, or like waking up to the same face every Aww. day you choose and that is the number one secret yep you choose joy what does that mean for the right now we are choosing joy yep we're going to take the most recent season of this summer and put it to the rear view mirror we're hitching up we're taking off rolling out heading out for some adventures yeah buddy we're doing the best we can with what we've got mm -hmm. and we are hitting the road guys yeah so we're choosing to make everyday life beautiful yep and we want to encourage you to find joy in whatever it is you are doing and we can't wait to see you guys in the next one peace